South Africa is home to nearly 80% of the world's rhino population, but since the early 2000s, they've been poached to near extinction. More than 1,000 rhinos are killed in the country each year for their horns. South African conservationist Gareth Putter is campaigning to end the scourge and has challenged everyone to fight the war on poaching. CGTN's Julie Shire has more. Rhino poaching is being treated as a war. South Africa is home to around 20,000 rhinos, some 80% of the worldwide population. But the species is in danger of disappearing. We are losing two to three rhino per day in South Africa to the rhino poaching crisis and we can't let them go extinct on our watch and we are getting there. Some species of rhino have been around for 50 million years. There used to be about 500,000 wild rhino roaming the planet and we are literally down to about 29,000 wild rhino on the planet at the moment. So we literally have lost about 96%. For 20 days, Rocking for Rhinos founder Gareth Potter has lived on this 16 meter high tower, hoping to raise awareness and money for rhino anti-poaching beneficiaries. I'm living in this little box for a while. I'm not coming down and I'm trying to prove a point, show the world that there is a problem, let's address it. And whilst doing that simultaneously, using the platform to raise funds. The aim is to live here for a month. Gareth has kept himself busy, but Rocking for Rhinos needs more support to reach their target. We need help, we do need assistance. We can't let things like this happen. There's a balance in nature and humans are destroying the balance all around us. And if nature goes, we go. So yeah, I'm passionate about it because there's a problem with nature and we have to stand up and get involved. Rocking for Rhinos aims to raise a minimum of $150,000 with this initiative and is challenging people around the world to put an end to rhino poaching. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.